The gravity of the singularity was too great. A last scream to each other was voiced, and then everything went blank. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fran, and today I am bringing you a brand new video. What I did this week was make a big ass mind map. Basically what I did is a huge mind dump onto the paper and after that I wrote a story that would correlate with the mind map I had made. What you will see next is my story and my mind map presented in a creative way and I hope you enjoy. It all started with the little boy who found himself on a long road called life. Like a blank sheet of paper, boy's mind was empty from anything, but he was eager to learn. He studied books and went to schools, but not before long he got caught up in the whirlpool of the internet. Twitter handles, snaps and get memes swirled before his eyes. A big conflagration of ideas and shares burned up his innocence and wasted many a years of the boy's life. Stumbling on, still unaware of the meaning of it all, the boy started to fantasize. He became the observant and creator unimaginable beauty and soul-crushing horrors. Then the boy had an insight. What if he created a framework to make sense of the craziness, give a name to the all-encompassing nature of his existence? He did, but it didn't bring him much freedom. On the contrary, he felt restricted and lost his own will. It was then that he encountered the sweet melodies of music. This is it, the boy thought. This is my calling. In a state of uppermost euphoria, the boy decided to break free of his comfort zone and get control over his life. Emotions ran high and time fluxed around the boy. He went on a deep spiritual and philosophical journey to find his true self. Before him appeared a man. The man spoke and said, Remember, you are in your springtime of life. Anything can grow in spring. And the man disappeared. With his newfound sense of purpose, the boy, who had now become a young man, continued his journey. Past a meandering river he strolled, when all of a sudden he found a young woman, unconscious, on the ground. The young man tried waking her up, but to no avail. Terrified to lose his only hope of finding another soul, he grabbed the girl's hand and prayed out loud. He didn't know why, but he did it anyway. All of a sudden, the young man felt a power flow through him. The essence of his soul started dripping over into the girl, with a startle, she awoke. Both of them were beyond happy to find another person in the scales all around them. They talked and talked and journeyed together across the fast plains, but doom struck again. A large black mass appeared and the young man and woman tried to run away, but the gravity of the singularity was too great. A last scream to each other was voiced and then everything went black. The young man woke up. His mind foggy, clearly remembering the terror he had just witnessed. He stood up and looked around, confused by what he saw. A strange mishmash of words, oddly structured and connected, but utterly senseless, engulfed him. Not knowing what to make of it, he moved on. All the joy and purpose he had felt before were turned into a gaping hole deep in his soul. The boy got depressed, and all he could think about was how beautiful the young woman was and how much he missed her. As time passed by, the young man, now entering full-fledged adulthood, tried distracting himself. He noticed a sign that caught his attention and decided to follow it. Distraction he found. Movies and cartoons were playing, but none of it seemed to cheer the man up. As all hope seemed lost, the man, his head bowed to the ground, saw a mushroom with a little sign next to it. Don't eat. Poisonous. Not caring about his life anymore, the man decided to eat the mushroom and get it all over with. After a little while, the man's body started to glow and he thought to himself, this is it, this is the end. But instead of gurgling convulsions and painful suffocation, the man started to see things. The world around him started interacting with him in a new way and the very essence of existence communicated to him as clearly as anything else ever had. The message was evident. Don't get stuck in all this nonsense. You are precious. Existence is precious. Learn to let go and find your inner peace. Reconciling with his own existence, his own good and evil, and his own mortality, the man felt ready to take on life again. He started to work out, 
eat healthy, develop his arts, and go through mental combat. He stumbled then on a little round pill. There was a little note that said, Use this when you have love. Curious as to what the thing was, he decided to pick it up and put it away in his pocket. As time passed by, the man started to transform. It was profound and radical, as if his entire gene sequence was remodeled into a code for perfection. But obviously, this wasn't the case. It was sincere hard work and struggle that turned the man into a hero. The hero of his own story. A chill to the bone was the first thing the young woman had felt. Confused in a daze, she struggled up and looked around. Everywhere there was people dressed in orange, riding around on bikes, smoking big joints. Senseless to what it all meant, the young woman decided to get moving. There was an aching in her soul for the young man, but deep inside she knew she couldn't give up. Traveling the world, she saw all its horrors. People were killing each other, nations corrupted to the bone, and her soul still aching. It wasn't long till she too got caught up in it. She started fighting with other people, releasing her dark energy like opening a waterfall. But the energy kept flowing. The fights got rougher and her world got crazier. Driven insane by her new reality spiraling out of control, the young woman, who had now matured, hit the brakes and decided to get out. She went to a place where she could be all alone to ponder about the meaning of her existence. Resolute in her pursuit, she intended not to leave the island before she figured it out. After what seemed like an eternity of endless days sitting in the sand and nights gazing at the stars, it suddenly dawned on her. It was bigger than her. She had been selfish and self-centered, pitying herself for losing something dear and justifying her mad behavior with it. Never to stop and think that the man would probably feel the same. This made her heart ache even more for him. But she also realized that he would feel the same pain if he knew how she felt. So she decided to take on life with cheer. Not for her, but for him. With her newfound optimism, the woman went out into the world again. Now aware of its intricate connectedness, she sparked curiosity that wasn't there before. She studied the flow of words and numbers, the art of laughter and entertainment, and the network of cities and societies. After marveling at greatness and learning so much, she still had an ember of longing burning for the man. She lost herself in the fantasy of getting to see him one more time, to show him what she had become. She drifted away in her own mind, and the world went black. The man, who was now well into his adulthood, gazed down the long road where it all started, a smile on his face. He couldn't make any more sense of it as he could back then, but his acceptance of the flow of events had given him unrestrained freedom, a freedom of mind and soul. Still, he felt a longing not to be all alone. Ever since he lost the woman, he had been all by himself. If only he could be with her, not all by himself, his existence would be complete. All of a sudden, a whirlwind of color appeared before him. A bright light lit up the center of the tangle and a shape began to form before him. Tears filled the man's eyes when he recognized who it was. It was she, the woman of so long ago. The colors dissipated and the woman stood in front of him looking just as startled as he. For a moment's time, which seemed like an eternity, they gazed into each other's eyes. And then they flew into each other's arms, their tears and laughter filling the afternoon air. The man reached into his pocket and said, I've kept this with me for ages in the hope that I might find you again one day. The girl looked at him and asked him what it was. He said he didn't know, but that he did know that it was meant for this moment. They broke the little pill in half and both swallowed it. What followed was a connected state of euphoria and love that was so deep and profound that it would make the gods weep. The woman and the man had transcended themselves and become a perfect unity of love and serenity. I was all alone for so long, the man said. I've been to a place with many people, the woman replied. Do you want me to take you there? Honestly, I don't care, as long as we are together, he said. He took her hand and they walked off together into the sunset on the same road they came from. The road of life. Thanks a lot for watching this video. It took me quite a while to make this video, especially putting the whole mind map together and then editing the entire thing, but I had a good time doing it and the end result turned out a lot better than I expected it to.
If you want to support me, don't forget to subscribe down below, and I hope to see you next week. Peace.